Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, so today we're working on the oil pan for my C5 Corvette, this Alice One. Uh, this is the Batwing style oil pan. Uh, so one modification I'm planning to make is to remove the bypass valve uh, in the oil filter adapter, which is in the oil pan on this model. Uh, so that's the bypass adapter. And it's basically just a spring-loaded valve so if the oil pressure, if there's too much restriction in the oil filter itself, this bypass valve opens and the oil will bypass the oil filter. Um, if you're the sort of person that doesn't keep up with your oil filter changes or maybe in the situation where something catastrophic happens and it plugs up the oil filter, um, then maybe that's a good thing. Um, following my the failed engine, um, I had found a lot of camshaft wear and the metal particles from the the camshaft I found not only in the oil filter um, but also downstream from the oil filter through my uh, oil cooler as well uh, which is downstream of the oil filter and if the oil filter is working properly um, it should have caught those metal particles so I'm kind of suspicious that um, this bypass was opening and allowing unfiltered oil uh, past the filter and that's how those metal particles uh, made it downstream So I'm going to delete this bypass so it doesn't open at all uh, a company called Sac City Corvette makes this um, oil bypass uh, delete uh, Valve well, it's not a valve. It's just a, uh, a delete plug um, So to install this it's a very simple piece um, working on the oil filter uh, adapter here, so this is the uh, threaded piece so you have to remove this It's a half inch hex um, and you'll probably need a breaker bar on this to get it to uh, to break loose so back that out uh, you can clean off the threads uh, clean out uh, in here there'll be some gunk because there's um, some red Loctite I think that was probably on this uh, the next step would be to pry this out and there's no easy way uh, of doing that I don't know how well the camera can focus for you um, but I'm going to work on getting this out, and uh, we'll check back in in a few minutes once I get it out, and uh, I'll let you know what worked for me uh, and any tips I might have. Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Uh, this is a 3 8 by 16 uh, bolt uh, that I've just kind of force threaded uh, down into the uh, adapter, or to the, uh, the plug. Uh, and then I'm going to try rocking it side to side uh, per the instructions from Sac City. Uh, it should break loose and pop out. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that worked out uh, honestly pretty easy. Uh, so I got the bolt threaded down in there. And then I got a um, longer wrench. So I can get that where you can see it. And I just started working it around side to side. And it just slowly work this uh, bypass plug out. And you can kind of see if I can get it. I threaded in the uh, the bolt pretty far. Um, didn't want to take a chance of it stripping out, and then had to really be up a creek. So uh, so far so good. Now we just got to uh, we'll clean up the bore in here, and um, we'll install the new uh, delete plug. Okay, and there it is. The um, oil bypass uh, delete plug is uh, installed. Uh, honestly, that went in way easier than I thought it would. Um, so when you set the plug in there, there's a an O-ring on there. Um, lube that with a little bit of oil. And then when you set it down in there, um, it goes 95% of the way in uh, just on its own. Um, and then I got a, a socket that would fit on top of this, and I just lightly tapped it. Uh, until it sat flush and um, I don't know if you can see into the bore you see it sets all the way down in there um, so yeah there we go this honestly installed way easier than I thought it would um, I suppose if you're laying on your back under the car on jack stands maybe it'd be a little bit more difficult uh, but certainly having the uh, motor out and having the oil pan off where I can put it on the uh, the bench here made this a, a pretty simple project and of course the final step 
will be to reinstall the oil filter adapter uh, threaded piece. Uh, this gets put back in at 40 foot-pounds of torque. Um, and I'll probably put some blue uh, Loctite on this as well. Uh, we certainly can't afford for that to come loose. So, hope this goes well for you. Uh, if you got any questions, post them below. I'll be happy to share uh, my experiences. And I'll be uh, excited to hear uh, how this project goes for you. Uh, of course, as always, uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I certainly appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.